And welcome everybody to lesson 6.5. This time around, compound inequalities. These are inequalities with the words and or or. And and or. And is what we call a conjunction. I think combine conjunction. And or, its fancy word, is a disjunction. Okay? Fancy words just to improve your vocabulary. Today we're going to look at the disjunctions of or. And really they're not that bad. You just have two problems for the price of one. So two problems. In this scenario, negative 4x less than 32. You want to solve that. Just like a regular old inequality. Divided by negative 4, divided by negative 4. That's going to switch our sign. And x is going to be greater than uh, negative 8. Negative 8. On the other side, we have or the other problem. So x minus 10 less than negative 20. We're going to add 10. So x is less than negative 10. Now we have two problems to graph on one line. So we're going to graph x greater than negative 8. Everything to the right of negative 8, and x less than negative 10, and we have two little wings on our graph. And that's it. It's just two different things. Uh, the next one, just going to kind of solve a little bit in my head here. So we're solving negative 4x greater than or equal to 28. Switching the sign would be greater than or equal to negative 7. You can plot that in graph, so you can graph one at a time. The other side might be a little tricky. X greater than, since we're essentially dividing each side by 4, 0. 0 divided by any number is just 0. So greater than 0 is just going to highlight open circle on the 0 and go in. Oh, I also just noticed I forgot a solid circle for X less than or equal to 7. So you should put that in there. Um, number three, so let's check that one out. Just a little bit more work involved, but you're probably getting the hang of it by now, I hope. Um, subtract nine, subtract nine. And divide by negative seven. Same rules apply. If you have a negative, you're going to change the direction of the sign. So we have x less than or equal to negative three, or... Solving the right-hand side, x is greater than 1. Okay, plot both of those and graph them. Certainly use different colors if you'd like. And then you have your answer. So let's look at one more. Really, nothing else fancy going on here. Uh, 10x minus 7, less than or equal to 3, add 7 to each side, and divide by 10. x is less than 1. And the right-hand side, subtract 2, divide by 8, and greater than or equal to 10. So graph each of those little ones less than 1. So let's find 1 and to the left. Greater than or equal to 10. I got the solid circle that time around, and there you go. Uh, one key thing maybe you picked up on is graphs of ors always have wings. So they always have two parts, one to the right, one to the left. And that's how you can tell if it's an or. Great stuff, guys. Make sure you practice.